day. We are from CEU 162B12 and today we are going to discuss the design of pile cup. And the given is, determine the size for a square pile cup that supports a 16 inch square column and is placed on four piles. Given FC prime is equal to 5 KSI, FY is equal to 60 KSI, dead load is 250K, live load is 150K. And then Concrete column dimension is 16 by 16 inches, while the concrete pass is 12 by 12 inches. And here is the section of the critical plane for two-way shear around pile. And here is the critical plane for two-way shear around the column. Next, we get the factor loads. We compared 2000, NACP 2001 and 2010 for the load combination. From 2001, we got 350 gips and for the factor load of NSCP 2010, we get 540 kips. So from there, we found out that the NSCP 2001 is more conservative, and we use that to the, to get the load of each pipe. So we divided it by four, and we got three point three. Uh, to solve for the two-way shear, also known as the punching shear around the column. Uh, First, we would need to solve the perimeter in which the punching shear would take in effect. So this would be the perimeter which would result in 168 inches. And then solving for the punching shear, uh, we would use this controlling formula and solving for the nominal shear, just substitute the values and we would arrive at a capacity of 926 kips. And earlier, we have solved that the ultimate shear is 540, which would mean the column is adequate for the punching shear. For the two-way shear on uh, around piles, first is get the visa bow, which is uh, where the punching shear acts on the piles. Uh, multiply 2 by 18 plus 6 plus 13 to get the perimeter is equals to 74 inches. The formula for VC is 4 times square root of FC prime, V sub O times D. Uh, theta VC is equal to theta is 0.75 times 4 times square root of 5000, which is the FC prime, and 74, uh, which is the V sub O, and 26, which is the D. And divide by 1000, and you will get 408 kips. Uh, and then uh, the value of VO is equal to 135 kips. Theta VC is greater than V sub U, so it is uh, safe. For MU, we use 2 times 135 times 2 minus 0.6 and we get the uh, MU of 495 feet for tips. And for the VKN, we use the formula of MU times 12,000 over base times the effective depth squared. For VKN, we use the values of 4, 495 times 1, 12,000 over 8 times 12 times 25.5 squared and we get a value of 95.2 PSI. For VKN, we use the 95.2 PSI and we select that the raw is 19%. So for getting for the area, we use the formula AS is equal to raw PP, given that raw is 0 0.0019. So for getting it, we substitute the values 0 0.0019, 8 times 12 times 25.5, we get 4.7 square inch. Now we, we should check for AS minimum. So for AS minimum, we use the formula same zero, uh, raw BD, where raw is 0 0.0018 times base times height. So we get a value of 5.7 square inch. So from the values we get, it shows that AS minimum is greater than the AS required. Therefore, we should use the AS minimum as our area. Computations, the group concludes that the effective depth is conservative for the two-way action, but is okay considering the overlapping of the critical sections around the column and the piles. One way will not be a problem because the piles are located within potential critical sections for one-way shear. That's all. Thank you.